Dexter plays Battletech, going for all the mechs. Of unknown origin to high orbit Terragana. According to Dr. Marood's interpretation of the files recovered, Captain Morgarian is being held in a safe house somewhere under the ruins of New Vulci. Care to fill us in on the details, Dr. Marood? Absolutely. According to the intel I've uncovered, Captain Magorian is currently in the custody of Zeta Lance. From what I gather, they're basically the Bauman Group's fix-it crew. All highly disciplined, all former Great House military. When Notcore Bauman needs a job done right, they're the ones he turns to. They're competent. Got it. What else? Zeta Lance has been moving Captain Morgorian from location to location every couple of days. I don't have a fix on his current position, but I was able to find Zeta Lance's expected patrol route. If you were to destroy their mechs and get me access to their, their combat computers, I could retrace their steps to find Captain Morgorian. That's the plan, then. We deploy, hunt down Zeta Lance, then follow their trail to Captain Morgorian. Good work, Doctor. Sounds like we have a plan. Anyone else have anything to add? I do. My time off, I've been doing some digging on Nocturne Bowman, and his organization turns out they're basically the, they run the black market. Half the contraband that flows through the frontier city ports of Call got their way by the Bowman Group. And I mean, I assume you're going somewhere with this. You know, all those strange new weapons that have been flooding the market recently? Gave you three guesses where they came from. You think they came from the derelict? I guess that tracks, but how? If the ship is stuffed to the gills with high-tech weaponry, who the hell put it there in the first place? I couldn't hazard a guess, Sumir, but if Darius is right, this isn't a simple rescue op. This ship is important. Those weapons have to be lost tech. But some of them, like the coil beam, are totally absent from the Star League's historical records. At least as far as I understand. We have to pursue this, Darius. I need to know more. I wouldn't say no to finding out more myself, Dr. Hell. There's probably money in it, but we're hired to rescue Captain Magorian, and that needs to remain our focus. That said, if you should happen to stumble onto some of those answers you're looking for, we will absolutely pursue them. I can't argue with any of that. Now let's get our job, get to our job. Zeta Lance won't worry around all day. Uh-huh. Right as always, Randy. Let's get our people ready to drop. Zeta Lance moved Captain Magorian out of Alameda province two days ago. They're holding him in a bunker somewhere under the ruins of New Vulci, a city that fell victim to a nuclear accident in 2977. Engage Zeta Lance and destroy their mechs. When you're finished, I'll scour their combat computers for their bunker's coordinates. Lots of picks. Like it. Uh... Yeah, I got the Vulcan that, yeah, I didn't take any internals. Good, 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 good. Same, uh, well, no, not the same mech setup. This is a battle in the lowland, so I want the Phoenix now. There you go, Trooper. You got your Phoenix back. Okay, time to drop down on this battle. We're uh, engaging these guys. I swapped the, the Wolverine back out for the, for, uh, the Shadowhawk or the, the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, my sensors picked up a weird signal coming from an object in geosynchronous orbit. Sort of a blip. It was there, in the, but then, hold up. I've got eyes on our target. Zeta Lance is on the move and is heading this way. Incoming transmission. Arctic Wolf's Marauders. You're here! Big mistake. Mr. Bowen wants your head, and we intend to deliver. What a coincidence! We're here for your heads, too. May as well get to it, Commander. Get mail. When you're done, we'll recover the combat computers from Dr. Moreau. Trees. Yeah, you got trees again. Um, okay, if I remember right, uh, we're going to get attacked from up here. Second. I want to go this way. Stay in this little valley. Oop, too much. On the move. Yeah. Nice little nook. Well, I picked up a blip. 
Wow, these guys don't look all that that impressive, but we'll, we'll see. Going low, going in, going fast, going low. Uh, yeah, no, it looks like I'm not going to get that cover that I wanted. Uh, let's go for the here and back in the water. I don't think I like that setup. I think I'd do a different one. We've got incoming drop pods, Commander. Who we'll launched them? Does the Bauman Group have a dropship in order? No, negative XO. Judging by their trajectory, they were launched from an orbiting platform that our sensors had marked as space junk. According to my readings, it's completely unmanned and at least 300 years old. That would make it a relic of the Star League. Samir, I need you to send me those readings right away. On it. And I'm marking the drop pod to project an impact site on your screen, Commander. Watch your head. Medium laser shot. Where is it going to drop? Up here, right? Yep, up there. I'm going to let the other light go, too. Commando. You know what? You guys just finished moving. You got lots of evasion. I'd rather weather the first round. 2H. That's a shame. I would have liked an S. Or 2D. Phoenix Hawk. Throwing some big stuff. All right, you're all done. All right, let's uh, reserve down to one. I'm your spaniel. Um, let's see here. You got a little bit of evasion on the spider, quite a bit on the phoenix hawk. I'm listening. Trooper, I could run you in. Let's run you up here. Getting out. Give you some evasion. I'm thinking spider's history. On it. Let's light up the spider. Commander. Roger that. Spider again. This is Ooh, that looked bad. I'm guessing you didn't Almost. Like that, did you? Orders. Get in some close. Finish him off. One less target. Now you, my dear, you come right up here. Do I like those numbers? Not a whole lot. What I could do is I could sensor lock. The Shadow Hawk. Gonna scramble his brains, remove some of the evasion. We've got drones in the field, boss. Uh, Star League era from the look of them. You called it, Doc. Uh, but this is incredible. They must have been sitting dormant on the platform for centuries. See how new they all look? They do look new, and that's a bad thing. I give them 20 seconds before they tear right through us. I'll deal with it if uh, and when that happens, Commander. Zeta Lance is still our primary target. If those drones fire on you, take them out. But otherwise, you need to bring down those mechs. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, you fire. Ooh, nice hits. Showing minor damage. All right, so now, Art, you can come around this way. You're going to precision strike the Shadow Hawk. Wow. Garbage. But I knocked you down to a two. Phoenix Hawk is going to do some more hopping around, bunny rabbit style. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Damage minimal. I'm ready. Trooper? Uh, I think I'm jumping you a little bit more. How's this guy? Yep, he's on his side. I go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Good here. Off. Hey, yo. Firing all weapons. I saw a lot of leg hit there. And a head hit. Got a critical hit. I'm receiving you. Alright. So you get to move in. I'm here. Onward. Shadow walk. Confirm. I yeah. saw a four on that. How did that not blow him up? Confirmed. You. 
There we go. AC5 off, heat sink gone, leg gone. Okay, you want to stand up? Hot damn, let's do this. Arctic. Oh, he dead. He dead big time. I can't hit any of those guys, so I'm going to reserve one round. Those are some good hits, little commando. I will be done. All right, I live you should move in. Precision strike the Phoenix Hawk. I have it. Okay, got a head hit. Arctic, can you do no? How about Trooper? Can we get it? Yes. Yes. Melee. He lost all his evasion with that. That's even better. Uh, you get to come in. Left leg. Yep. Here. See that guy who's still standing? I don't want him standing anymore. Thank you. That there was a critical hit that was. Alright, now let's take a peek at this guy. Another injury, so that's two. He's still going. Alright, I'm thinking I was thinking if that was a uh, hundred points or less, that I'd call shot the center that that piece right there, but that ain't gonna happen. Can move up. You know, lay into the center torso some more. Yeah, there goes a lot of his weapons. There's a guy on the ground. Ah, no! Leave that alone. That shot hit internal. Damn it! Oh yeah, there we go. Good, thank you. Alright, hit him hard now. Arctic. Your refire on this is disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is. So you can just get a regular hit. Let's do that. Leg. Nice. Don't, don't, not the Phoenix Hawk. Leave the Phoenix Hawk. Ah! Holding. All right. Great Trooper. Orders. Big jump backwards. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I get you back to here. Engaging jump jet. You saw some medium laser shots over here, and I'll take them. Knocking on target. Bye. Kick him from here. I'm walking here. Nice. Next destroyed. Yeah. Heading out. Mm-hmm. You got pulse weapons on you. Lock it on and fire it all. Nice. Mm-hmm. That'll do. Can we reserve one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Arctic. You are definitely going to go ahead and move up here. We'll sensor lock the last dude here. Sensor lock on target. Archangel, you're going to come out. We got shots from both these. Both these look good. Unload. Yeah, like this. Nice. Reporting vehicle. That's Thunder Commander. I'll scoop up Zeta Lance Combat Computers. When Ver locates uh, Captain Morgan in his bunker, we'll be off to the races. I'll do what I'll do what you need, but for the time being, we have more pressing concerns. 
No, we don't. This is the job, Doctor. Yes, Darius, I know. But the platform that launched those drones was SLDF. It's been sitting dormant for three centuries, and it just came back online now, while we're all fighting over a ship from the great beyond. Funny timing, don't you think? You think it has something to do with the derelict? You don't think it does? Okay. Maybe now's the time to talk about those drones. Let's return to orbit. We need to loop Shugo Yagamaguchi in on this. What's happening here? I've tried. He's indisposed. You'd better get back up here anyway, though. I've got something you need to see. Mission successful. Well, bounce, all right. Did think I did lose uh, armor over here, but at least didn't lose anything. That was that was kind of scary. What was in that right arm? Uh, arm mods and bonuses. Yeah, that, that was that was actually not the left arm. Yeah, left arm. Still, ton of arm mods and stuff. That was that was not going to be pretty. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Phoenix Hawk ones, which I've already got. Shadow Walks, which I've already got. Spiders, which I've already got. Thanks a whole goddamn lot. I don't need any of that. Plus, I got nothing off the tanks. What kind of BS is that? Bullshit. <laughs> really is. It's just a bunch of BS, man. I'll take the heavy stuff. Just for the cash. These parts are piece parts. That mech is ready to fight. So we got ourselves a Shadow Hawk again, another one. That neck you asked for. Phoenix Hawk, back up. Uh, something has to go into the queue. Let's put, the, let's put this guy back into storage. Of unknown origin, high orbit Terragana. Okay, Meyer, what's the emergency? Remember that orbital platform, the one that launched all those drones? It's trying to talk to us. The damn thing has pinged our comm system five times since you left the planet's surface. I'll pause for a second. And let you let that sink in. If it wants to talk, you should talk. Get on the line. Don't you get it? It's 300 years old. If you say so, Commander, I'm establishing contact with the 300-year-old weapons platform. Buckle in, everyone. Shit's about to get weird. <laughs> Your view screen fills with a cool blue light as Shamir establishes connection. The light coalesces and solidifies itself into an unfamiliar landscape. Arctic Wolf Marauder, senior staff consisting of following Serenity Arctic Wolf, Malthorn, Commander, Darius, Oliveria, Executive Officer, Dr. Faru Marud, Engineer, Yang, Vietnian, Chief, and Mech Tech, Sumir Meyer, Pilot and Navigator. Is this manifest correct, Captain or Commander Malthorn? To us? To whom? To uh, what are we speaking? My official designation is SLDFPT. CGVR. I am the last surviving product of Project Triage, authorized 2765.06.12 by Major General Jeremy McLean of the 19th Army, LV-1 Corps. It's uh, 56 Corps. I have also been programmed to respond to any of the following informal designations. Caregiver, Den Mother, Motorbojom, you may refer to me using any one of the above aliases. Motor Bjorn? Bjorn? Motor Bjorn? What's that mean? Motor Bjorn, Swedish, English translation, Mother Bear. I believe that the name was intended to humanize me as it also evoked the evocative of my primary directive, the gathering and protection of disaster survivors. In this scenario, my metaphorical cubs... Folks, we've got ourselves a winner. I reserve the right to call it Mama Bear, though. <laughs> now that the introductions are out of the way, I'd like to know why your drones fired on my lance. The ongoing defense of New Vulci is one of my tertiary objectives. When you initiated a firefight in the ruins, I was compelled to intercede. I regret any injury my drones may have caused your company, and I am hopeful that the circumstances of our introduction will not prevent us from helping one another in the future. Helping one another? You want us to do something for you? Figures everybody's got an angle. Even an ancient computer. Of course it does, Meyer. It's a universal constant. Tell us, what do you need, Mama Bear? Who knows? Maybe we can work something out. 
For the past half a century, I have been guiding a derelict spacecraft, the Dobrev, towards Terragata. On the eve of its arrival, it disappeared. I believe the organization you are fighting is to be responsible for the derelict's disappearance. I must learn where they have taken it. It is imperative that I recover that ship. We're here to rescue Captain Gaku Magorian. He was taken prisoner by the same people who hijacked the derelict. Then we are pursuing complementary objectives, Doctor. I suggest that we pool our resources to achieve them. We don't know enough about you to team up with you yet. I, I want, if you want our help, you have to go answer a few questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, let's do that first. If you wish, Commander, I will attempt to provide you with satisfactory answers. You said you were designed to protect disaster survivors. How's that supposed to work exactly? Had Project Triage been adopted for widespread use, Cogver platforms would have been positioned over major population centers across the frontier. In the aftermath of a catastrophic event, a Cogver unit could be brought online to assess the damage, gather any survivors, put them... It would then protect the surviving population until Star League relief efforts could begin. Sounds expensive. Undoubtedly, and as history has proven prone to failure as well. My charges, the original survivors of the new Vulci disaster, are gone. I could not protect them, and when I called for help, none came. With the fall league with the fall of the Star League, I imagine not. Sorry, Mother Bear. I appreciate the sentiment, Doctor. Will there be anything else? True AI is all but extinct in this day and age. Is that what you are? Am I talking to an SLDF AI? Not precisely. I was designed to project a convincing facsimile of human intelligence. To that end, I am capable of adapting to novel situations and learning from my mistakes. But I'm, but my capabilities are intentionally limited compared to those of a true SLDF authorized or authored AI. Okay, Mother Bear, let's discuss how this partnership of yours is going to work. I will deploy my combat drones to assist you. In return, you will grant me access to the Bowman Group's computer systems after you rescue Captain Morgarian. This arrangement should prove purely beneficial to you and your company. I ask nothing that you cannot give me for free. Uh, sounds reasonable. What form of the would this assistance take exactly? I could have my drones attack a nearby armory. This should serve as to lure away the prison's garrison, clearing the way for a light, nimble lance to conduct the rescue operation. Alternatively, I could liber liberate Captain Magorian myself, but I would need your lance to serve as an attraction. Should you choose this option, I would recommend allocating your heaviest battle mechs for the job. Ooh, so we, let's see, we can distract the garrison. Your drones are on distraction duty. We'll send in a scout lance to perform the, the rescue op. Or our heavies will attack the armory to draw the op force defenses away. You know, I, I, if I remember right, I think this the, the heavies are still, it's, it's still a two skull. I'm going to go for it because I need, I need, I need mechs. I need heavies. Interesting choice. Not what I have gone with, but you're the boss. Your decision is acknowledged, Commander Mal Thorne. While your lance distracts the prior, or prison garrison, my drones will move in to rescue Captain Magorian. You will have him alive and unharmed. Well, that's it then. We have a plan. Let's go get it, Commander. No time's a wasting. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, it's two skull. Good. So let's negotiate this little puppy. <sighs> We're doing a base destruction. Well, it's actually okay because I was going to, for a base destruction, I think I'll take the Wolverine in. That should work. Through the shadows and the corners of your mind, I go with the windows. I run, but I don't hide. I hear the call of the wild, whispering the name. No, I can't be tamed. My heart belongs to the night. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm a. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, 
Aber 